Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about what is geometric series, and we are going to find out how to find the sum of a geometric series. First, let us define what is a geometric series. So when we say geometric series, the sum S sub n of the n terms of a geometric sequence is written in the formula S sub n equals a sub 1 times 1 minus r raised to n all over 1 minus r or a sub 1 times the quantity of r raised to n minus 1 all over r minus 1. So this is the formula in finding the sum of a geometric series where a sub 1 is the first term and r is the common ratio and r is not equal to 1. So let's start and let's have an example. On number 1, we are going to find the indicated sum of the geometric sequence. So we have a given 8 plus 16 plus 32, and we are looking for the sum of the first 8 terms. So in order for us to find the sum of the first 8 terms, let us identify first our given. So we have a sub 1, that is 8. And then we have a common ratio, that is 16 divide by the first term that is 2 so the common ratio is 2 so these are the information that we're going to uh, identify in order for us to find the sum of the first eight terms so we are using the formula s sub n that stands for the sum equals a sub 1 times the quantity of 1 minus r raised to n all over 1 minus R. So a sub 1 is 8 times the quantity of 1 minus the common ratio which is 2 raised to n. n will be the number of terms that is 8 all over 1 minus 2. So we have here, let us write 8 times 1 minus 2 raised to 8. That means you are going to multiply 2 8 times to itself. That is 256 all over 1 minus 2. That is negative 1. And then let us simplify. So let us write 8 again. And then 1 minus 256. That is negative 255 over negative 1. And then we have... 8 multiplied by negative 255, that is 2040 divided by negative 1. So therefore, the sum of the first 8 terms is 2040. So that is 2004, negative 2040 divided by negative 1 is 2040. So this will be our final answer. What about for number 2? We have a sequence 4, 2, and 1. And then we are looking for the first or the sum of the first 10 terms. So we have a sub 1, that is 4, common ratio. To find common ratio, simply divide the second term to the first term. That is 2 divided by 4. 2 divided by 4 can be written in simplest form, that is 1 half. Then, let us use the formula for the sum of geometric sequence. So we have S sub n equals A sub 1 times 1 minus R raised to n all over 1 minus R. And then, let us substitute the given A sub 1 which is 4 times 1 minus, common ratio is 1 half, raised to the number of terms number of terms here is 10 over 1 minus 1 half and then let us simplify our answer so let us write again 4 times the quantity of 1 minus 1 raised to 10 that is 1 over 2 raised to 10 that is 2 multiply 10 times to itself that is 1024 over 1 minus 1 half 
is one half. Then let us simplify. We have four times one minus one thousand twenty four. That is one thousand twenty four minus one over one thousand twenty four over one half. Then let us have another sheet of paper in order for us to answer this question. So let us write first 4 times 1024 minus 1, that is 1023. Over, let us write, write the denominator 1024 over 1 half. Then let us multiply 4 times 1023 over 1024 divided by 1 half. Or you can write or you can simplify 4 and 1024 because the greatest common factor of 4 and 1024 is 4. So therefore, we're going to have 1023 over the simplest form of 4 and 1024 is 1 over 256 so that is 256 over one half and then let us divide so let us multiply 1024 times 2 and 256 over 1 so that is 1024 or 1023 rather times 2 over 256 times 1 so before we multiply 1023 over 2 times 2, let us simplify 2 and 256. So the greatest common factor of 2 and 256 is 2. So this is 1, and this becomes 128. So therefore, 1023 times 1 is 1023. Over 128 times 1 is 128. Then let us divide our answer. Let us convert this improper fraction to a mixed number. So how many 128 are there in 1023? So that is 7. And then the remainder is 127 over 128. So this will be our final answer. So let's have another example. Find the sum of the seven terms of the geometric sequence 2, 4, 8, and 16. So let us identify our given. So we have a sub 1, which is 2. Then r is 4 divided by 2, that is 2. So the common ratio is 2. And n is 7. So that is the number of terms. Now let us use the formula. s sub n equals a sub 1 times 1 minus r place to n over 1 minus r. And then substitute the given to the formula. a sub 1 is 2. And then 1 minus the common ratio, which is 2, raised to 7 over 1 minus 2. And then let us simplify. We have 2 times 1 minus 2 raised to 7, that is 128. That means 2 multiply 7 times to itself, that is 128. Over 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Then, let us write 2 times 1 minus 128 is negative 127. Over negative 1. Then, let us multiply. 2 multiplied by negative 127 is negative 254 divided by negative 1. So therefore, the sum of the first 7 terms is negative 254 divided by negative 1 is positive 254. So this will be the sum of the first 7 terms. What about number 4? Find the sum of the first six terms of the geometric sequence 3, negative 6, and 12. So again, let's identify a sub 1. That is 
3. And then common ratio, negative 6 over 3, that is negative 2. And then number of terms, that is 6. And then we are going to use this formula. S sub n equals a sub 1 times 1 minus r raised to n over 1 minus r. a sub 1 is 3. Then 1 minus the common ratio, which is negative 2. Let us use a parenthesis. Raised to 6 over 1 minus negative 2. And then let us simplify. We have 3 times 1 minus negative 2 raised to 6 is positive 64. But we have a negative sign here, so that's why 1 minus 64 over 1 plus 2. So negative times negative is positive. Then we have 3 times 1 minus 64 is negative 63 over 1 plus 2, that is 3. Therefore, to write our answer, let us cancel this one. Therefore, the sum of the first six terms is negative 63. So this will be our final answer. On my last example, we are going to find the sum of geometric sequence for which the first term is 125, the last term is 1 over 5, and the common ratio is 1 over 5. So let us identify the given. a sub 1 is 125, a sub n is 1 over 5, common ratio is 1 over 5. So in order for us to find the sum of geometric sequence, let us find first the number of terms, which is the value of n. So in order for us to do that, let us use the formula for geometric sequence. That is, a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. a sub n, that is 1 over 5. a sub 1, that is 125 r, that is 1 over 5, raised to n minus 1. Then, let us divide the whole equation by 125. We can't multiply 125 times 1 over 5 because 1 over 5 is being raised by n minus 1. So, we divide the whole equation by 125. So, therefore, we have 1 over 5 raised to n minus 1 equals... If you are going to divide 1 over 5, divide by 125, you simply multiply 5 and 125. So that is 1 over 5 times 125 is 625. Then, to find the value of n, we must have the same base. We all know that 1 over 5 raised to 4 is 1 over 625. So therefore, let us change 1 over 625 into 1 over 5 raised to 4. So that is 1 over 5 raised to n minus 1 equals 1 over 5 raised to 4. So since we have the same base, we simply cancel 1 over 5. So that is 1 or n minus 1 equals 4. And then let us move negative 1 to the side of 4. becomes positive 1. So n equals 4 plus 1. So n is 5. So the value of n is 5. Now, we already know what is the value of n, the number of terms. We can easily find the sum of geometric sequence using the formula s sub n equals a sub 1 times 1 minus r raised to n over 1 minus r. So let us substitute the given. a sub 1 is 125 times 1 minus ratio that is 1 over 5 raised to 5 over 1 minus 1 pif. Then, let us rewrite 125. 
then we have 1 minus 1 raised to 5 is 1. And then 5 raised to 5, that is 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125, times 5 is 625, times 5 is 3125 over 1, or 1 minus 1 over 5, that is 5 minus 1 over 5. Then, let's write again 125 times 1 minus 1 over 3,125, that is 3,125 minus 1 over 3,125 over 5 minus 1 is 4 over 5. Then let us write here. So we have 125 times 3,125 minus 1 is 3,124 over 3,125 over 4 over 5. Now, since 125 and 3,125 is divisible by 125, so let us simplify 1 over 20, 125 and 3,125. So that is 3,124 over, that is 1 over 20, 125 over 3,125, that is 25 over 4 over 5. Then let us divide 3,124 divided by 25 divided by 4 over 5. So let us multiply 3,124 and 5, then 25 and 4. So we have 3,124 times 5 over 25 times 4. Then, since 5 and 25 are divisible by 5, so 5 becomes 1 and 25 becomes 5. Then we have 3,124 times 1, 3,124 over 5 times 4 is 20. Then let us divide. Let us change this mix, uh, improper fraction to mixed number. So how many 20s are there in 3,124? That is 156. The remainder is 4 over 20. So this would be the sum of the first five terms in this given sequence. So I hope you learned from this video. Thanks so much and see you again next time.